Now, a selective treatment of pre-flight procedures. The first step in pre-flight procedure is the exterior inspection of the aircraft. There are several inspection points unique to the T2V1, which must be included in the normal walk-around inspection. The T2V is equipped with leading-edge wing slats. Manually retract and extend the slats to check for freedom of movement. Check to see that the spoiler in the inboard section of each slat remains extended slightly when the slat is retracted. Ram air orifices are located in the nose of each tip tank. Check them for obstruction. Likewise, check the fuel dump outlet in the aft underside of each tip tank for obstruction. Check the boundary layer control orifice in each wing for obstruction or corrosion. Check each aft speed brake for signs of wear or improper alignment. There is a small glass port in the snubber unit of the arresting hook through which you can check the position of the snubber piston. Check to determine that all tailpipe mice are secure. The main hydraulic reservoir is located in the upper left fuselage, just aft of the cockpit. Check the sight gauge on the main hydraulic reservoir for proper fluid level. Now let's move into the front cockpit. Cockpit controls and instrumentation are grouped according to function. The left panel is devoted mainly to engine and fuel controls. The instrument groupings include engine performance, aircraft performance, navigation, and fuel. Two components of the instrument panel are unique. The first is the annunciator warning panel. The second is the fuel quantity gauge. Nine of the most important warning indications are included in the annunciator warning panel. Canopy unlatched, fuel filter out, generator out, fuel level low, engine fuel pump fail, instruments out, turn and slip out, oil pressure worn, and hydraulic pressure low. The fuel quantity gauge and indicator panel are located on the right side of the instrument panel. The fuel quantity gauge normally indicates the total weight of fuel in the inboard tanks only. Press the center switch to determine the total weight of fuel in the inboard tanks and the left tip tank. Press the lower switch to determine the total weight of fuel in the inboard tanks and the right tip tank. Press both switches simultaneously to determine the total fuel aboard. The right panel and console contain electrical, navigational, air conditioning, and lighting system controls. The following items in the pre-start cockpit check are unique to the T2V or of sufficient importance to warrant attention. The pre-start cockpit check moves from left to right around the cockpit. Tip tank shutoff switches open with red guards down. Tip tank dump switches off with red guards down. Tip tank depressurization switch normal with red guard down. Oxygen supply valve on. Main fuel shutoff switch open with red guard down. Interphone panel settings on the center stand set as desired. Now to the right side panel. Battery generator switch off. Flight instrument power switch off. Cabin defrost switch normal. Cabin air switch on. Cabin pressure dump switch normal. Cabin temperature selector set as desired. Cabin temperature override switch on auto. Again, the previous items are not a complete pre-start cockpit check for the T2V, but merely a coverage of unique or highly important checkpoints. 